Good morning, team. Mr. Gibbons here. Uh, just a couple of notes on the week, okay? Uh, one, uh, this is the first real speech. Um, I am pretty giving on uh, this speech in many ways, but it's the first time where everything really comes together. You've done a lot of good work working through the score sheet. Uh, you'll have the opportunity to resubmit the score sheet this week. I will have made comments on all the individual tabs. Make sure you've made those corrections. So go back to the objective sentence and the rationale and resources, subject central theme, all those original assignments. I made some comments in there if there were things I thought you needed to tweak and resubmit that. If you don't have anything, then just resubmit it. Um, that's okay. I just wanna to go to one place and find that. I will be using that um, <clears throat> when we are, when I'm watching your speech. Uh, second, Practice the speech in front of a mirror a bit. This will be the first time to begin to use mannerisms and how you carry yourself. And we haven't talked about that a whole lot. We will talk about that before the persuasive speech, which has its own rubric. That's the assignment I grade. Probably, it's probably the most difficult grade in this class because we'll have had that will be the third opportunity um, to give a speech in my class. So it's kind of the culmination of the speeches. After that, we're gonna to move to uh, an interview presentation and a group uh, communication project. Those are a little bit different. So we have, we're in the middle step here. In addition this week, I ask you to look at a TED Talk, which is, um, is it has often been rated very, very highly. I think there are problems with it, and I want you to consider that as you get ready to do this speech um, and submit that to me before Sunday. So it's an example. There's some good in it, and then there's some not so good, and I want you to think through those things this week as you get ready to do it. Then finally, I need you to think about how you're going to bring the show and tell, how you're going to bring the resources. They are not uh, resources are not sources. They're not the place where you got the information. Resources are things that shed light and color to your topic. What are those things? And finally, um, evaluate. Uh, several of you put my name down there. I am not actually, I mean, I will evaluate this speech for a grade. That's not the purpose of that blank. Purpose, purpose of that blank is to put the name of a person who will help you think through this speech before you give it. So several of you put a parent. I'm not opposed to that. I think it needs to be someone that has one of two characteristics. Either one, they have a lot of pertinent knowledge on that subject. Um, so if you're talking about mental health, maybe you have a parent who's a therapist. Got it. That makes a lot of sense. I think the other option, particularly for those of you who may be going into, uh, say, a nerd kingdom um, type of speech on Harry Potter, D&D, &D, um, gaming, um, is to have someone who has no knowledge of your subject because it's often a dangerous thing for you in, in, a, in an immersive subject like that, something that you're super passionate about, to jump way too deep out of the, uh, out of the, out of the gate. And we can't catch up to you because we don't have all that knowledge. We don't know all those code names. So think about that this week. So we're gonna we're gonna evaluate a speech given at a TED talk. I'm gonna ask you to make some changes and resubmit your score sheet as needed. And then finally this week you will need to uh, upload your first real speech, uh, which is an informative speech. Again, you don't have to persuade us. You just have to tell us what you believe we need to know. All right. Have a good week.